Alright, so now in this video, I'm going to show you how to numerically integrate uh, functions in MATLAB. Uh, this isn't as exciting as necessarily analytical integration, but it is a lot simpler than doing it by hand. And I'm going to do this by giving you the example of using a heat capacity equation um, for gases in an ideal gas state um, that you probably did in, in thermodynamics and show you how you can do this. Uh, the first step is converting that equation into a function and then just integrating that function. So this is how we can do it. And I'm going to do this in a more slightly more elegant way so that um, it becomes clearer to you uh, in the future. So I'm going to let's go ahead and go to our editor just so I can type it in. Our heat capacity equation I'm going to do is uh, CP over R is equal to A um, plus B T plus C T squared plus D T to the negative 2. This is just one I, I, I'm pulling from a reference text. doesn't really matter, but this is just the equation that we can use. Now, to create this into a function, I can do it a couple of different ways, um, but let's go ahead and uh, do a function file for this function uh, heat um, or, uh, CP is equal to heat and in this case I am going to go ahead and have it enter in the temperature and the heat capacity uh, uh, data set of interest um, Actually, for, no, for simplicity, let's just do it this way first. I can show you the other way uh, later if that's interesting, but we'll just keep it this way. So for this expression here, um, I'm going to show this, and we can create our A, B, C, and D vector. So our coefficient vector will equal to, it'll just be A, B, C, and D. So I'm going to look at this right now, and I'm pulling the data for, um, um, uh, for, um, uh, what one should we do it for? Oh, well, let's say, um, um, let's say we'll do it for ethane. So for ethane, it goes um, A is 1.131, it's 19.225 E to the negative 3, and um, uh, what, 119, uh, negative. 5.561 e to the negative 6. There. All right, uh, sorry, I had another a little hiccup there. So uh, let's finish this uh, coefficient table off. We can then say uh, our CP output is going to equal to, um, we'll say, coefficient of coefficient 1 is um, plus. B, our coef of 2, uh, dot times T plus coef of 3, dot times T to the squared plus coef of 4, dot times T to the negative 2. And there you go. Oh, I kind of did a dot. There you go. And make sure that's all right. So that looks good. And let's save. Save as heat. And there we go. So we can now say heat. Let's say 500. Oop. Uh, error. Oh, must have had an error in the line somewhere. Um, oh, of course, I have a typo not cof it's coef all right there you go save and let's try it again heat 500 excellent we got it so now if we wanted to know say cpdt um, or the uh, uh, heat flow um, or the uh, change in uh, heat from increasing uh, the heat flow from going from 500 to 1,000 degrees C, or if, um, uh, we can do that by simply saying, uh, using one of the functions 
that's built into MATLAB that allows us to take a numerical integration. And there's two main ones we can use. Uh, one is the quad function, which I talked briefly about earlier in class. And this is just going to be quad. You have a function, and you go from one emit to another, and you'll get the answer. And then, so if we wanted to do that, we do quad of quad of at uh, heat from 500 to 1000 and you'll get the values in CP over R so if you wanted to know the actual joules per mole you can just multiply it by the ideal gas constant and you get your answer um, that is uh, in a nutshell the entirety of how this works uh, there's another function so if you look at help quad you can see that this is a numerical integration using Simpson quadrature. Uh, this is explained in the help files, but it's just a, your standard um, uh, area under the curve rules for finding that. You can also use quad L, which it uses the Lobato uh, quadrature function approach, uh, which in some cases can give you slightly better uh, results or answers. Um, but for the most part, both will give you the uh, for most simple things that uh, that you'll deal with, you'll converge to the same answer. So if you look here, you can do quad L or quad, and you're getting again the same equation for that. And so that's all there is to the numerical integration. Uh, there isn't anything more uh, challenging with that. Um, I intentionally use this equation uh, with a coefficient because we could actually go back in and simply say coefficient here and now make a general function for any time we wanted to use um, this and we just have to input our values as a single coefficient table uh, and in this case here I can take all this, I'll define this outside here and uh, you can uh, again do the heat function um, here. If you try it this time you'll notice you'll get an error because it doesn't have the coefficient value uh, you can get around that by simply entering it, uh, uh, entering that in um, uh, at this point. So I could say at redefine this x and heat, place that x as the independent variable because whatever we're placing here is our independent variable that's going to be integrated over. x is this variable and this is where the coefficient was. If I say coefficient here, it's going to take the coefficients that's already in the data of the variable set over here, plug that in, and we should get the value as we'd want. Um, if we wanted to say coefficient was a different one, and let's let's do uh, let's do one for um, let's see, I'll give an example of uh, one hexene. So I'm going to say C hexene. And that's going to equal to, and then looking at the tables here, it's 3.220, uh, 48.189, e to the negative 3, and um, I lost my vision place on this, um, uh, negative 15.157, e to the negative 6, and 0. So that's our C hexene table set. So I can go back to quad, go over here, say C hexene, because that's our new variable set, and we'll get the answer for that one. Um, and that's actually really the power of all this. It can make things a lot simpler, a lot easier, uh, as long as you keep track and, and set this up uh, correctly. So anyways, um, I'll see. This is probably much all there is to integration in MATLAB, numerical integration. Uh, in the next video, I will talk about numerical differentiation. All right, thanks.